Hey everyone, Dan at Ochoco Bushcraft. Well, I want to talk to you guys today about emergency poncho shelter setups. Now, I never go anywhere without a poncho behind the seat of my pickup. It's always there. If I break down in the rain and I need to walk home or walk somewhere, I put the poncho on and I'm going to stay dry. Um, if I need to use it for emergency shelter, I've got cordage behind the seat of my vehicle as well, and I can rig that up. Whether you are doing a vehicle survival kit, trunk of your car, or behind the seat of your pickup, um, a get home bag, a bug out bag, um, just a wilderness survival kit to carry when you're out, you know, deer, elk hunting, or fishing, a, a poncho is an absolute necessity. And there's a couple things that you can carry with it to make um, emergency setup that much quicker and easier and more efficient. So I'm going to start out by talking to you about my favorite poncho. And I've, I've got military ponchos. I've got other brands. This is my absolute favorite. And in my opinion, it's a step above all others. And I'll show you why here in a minute. But it is the M-E-S-T poncho from Bushcraft Outfitters. If you go on Google and type in Bushcraft Outfitters, you'll get a look at this. It's well over a hundred bucks, so it's not a cheap poncho. But again, in my opinion, it's a step above all others, and I'll show you. So it comes in this lightweight pouch, first of all. It takes up very little room and adds very little weight to your kit. Okay, along with that, before I open it up, just some cheap tent stakes. You don't want to be sitting out in the rain trying to carve something, or you may be in the desert and not have anything to carve. So carry some tent stakes. Those are just cheap coglins that you can get at Bymart, Walmart. And I have a couple Prusik loops, just made out of bank line, shoved in the bottom of the pouch with the tent stakes. Along with those, I have a ridge line ready to go. It's already got bite at the end. It's ready to be used. So everything I need is there. If something happens and I need to walk home, I can throw the poncho on, put the rest of the stuff in my back in case, uh, pack or whatever, in case I need to make it into a shelter. <clears throat> okay. What we're going to do is I'm going to give you guys a, a review on this. Poncho from Bushcraft Outfitters, M-E-S-T, multi-purpose, Emergency Survival Tarp Poncho. That's what the M-E-S-T stands for. Multi-purpose emergency survival tarp, and then it is a poncho. Also called a tarp, as you'll see why. And uh, we'll set it up into a shelter. We'll do an A-frame or something simple today. We'll come back, we'll do another video and add a couple more shelters. Maybe a third video, depending on how many we do in the second. So, first of all, Let's talk about the material. It's 70D nylon. It's tear resistant. It's strong. Okay, right now I've got it snapped up. You see it's got the regular snaps, so I can throw it on as a poncho. But it also has tie outs in various places around the outside, so you can quickly turn it into a tarp. It measures just shy of five foot by eight foot. And if you've watched my videos, you know that the uh, five foot by eight foot tarp from Bushcraft Outfitters is my favorite summer tarp. So it's almost the same size. I can do all the same configurations. Bonus, okay, again, you got these tie outs and they are um, stitched pretty thoroughly. You see some stitching right there. Also, it is fire retardant. Okay, that is something that you will not find in most ponchos. I have set my tarp up many times next to a fire, same material, had sparks hit it, no problems yet. Fire retardant. Well, first thing I did was put it on backwards, so uh, 
I'm not going to edit that out. <laughs> okay. There we go. So as you can see, I'm well covered. It has a nice roomy hood here. I'm well covered and well protected if I gotta walk home from the rain. And you can see my tie outs if I need to turn this into a tarp. So uh, there's two trees right here behind me. Ideally, I would throw a whole bunch of pine needles down and uh, actually, the camera's sitting under a nice big fat pine tree, so no problem in gathering up lots of needles if I needed to stay out here. Okay, so we're gonna open this up. Just unsnap both sides. And we now have emergency tarp with tie outs and on the outside on this side too right here in the middle which is going to come in real handy for making that a-frame all right pause you guys for just a second okay I got my uh, ridge line uh, wrapped around one end of the tree there this little tree right here beside me, I'm going to do a trucker's hitch. But first, I'm going to take advantage of those tie outs. So, I'm going to run my ridge line right under the center of my poncho. What I'm going to do first is I'm going to run it through tie outs on the end of the poncho so this actually serves a useful purpose if it's windy right now and I, I fling this over the cordage it, the wind is gonna blow it right off I've had that happen blow it right off with it through the tie out on each end of the poncho that's not gonna be able to happen And same thing on the other end. Just pull that through. And That's gonna work out perfectly. So I'm gonna do a trucker's hitch around this little uh, pine tree here on the other end. Okay. 
Oh, you see how the wind just caught that tarp or the poncho? I've put ponchos up like that, just draped them over and gust of wind comes up and chasing the poncho up through the trees. So cool thing about the Bushcraft Outfitters, again, is these tie outs. And there's tie outs here in the middle too. So if I really need to secure this, um, I can use, I brought just four stakes. I can carve two more and uh, get under here. But we're gonna do just a simple A-frame. So fill this area up with pine needles if it was an emergency, or if I had a ground pad um, in my truck or tarp that I, uh, or attached to my pack, I would just spread that down and get up under here and get out of the wind and out of the rain and uh, maintain body heat till the storm or whatever or the night, if I was having to stay the night past. So, prussic loops. In order to pull this tight, I'm gonna need a uh, couple uh, little sticks to put through these two prussic loops and pull this tight on each end. So, it grabs me some materials. Okay, I went ahead and got a couple little sticks and I took my prussic loop Put it around my ridge line on the back end and ran it right through that loop or tie out on one end of the poncho so one end is secure so i'm going to go around to this side so hopefully you can see what i'm doing and secure the other end Stick through there. Okay. And secure this other end back up. Okay, there we go. Sorry about that, I had to secure my other end came, stick fell out, I had to secure it back up. So now it's tight, I got both ends secure. So I'm gonna make one more materials run for a little club or something. I think this might work right here. Maybe, it's been uh, partially cut at some point, so it might break. We'll try it, see what happens. All right, one side. We'll get the back side here.
and uh, get the other two corners. And then we'll uh, try this out and then I'll set you guys up in the front too. See how much room we got. One more. Let's give it a shot. Let's try this. Not bad at all. It's actually I'm five foot 10 and it's all, almost just shy of eight inches or eight feet, I'm sorry, just shy of eight feet. So if I had a pack with me, there's plenty of room for me to get back in here and pull my uh, pack in behind me to block off this entrance. And then I got that small tree partially blocking the back, but a few tree boughs, use my pack as a doorway and uh, quick, easy emergency shelter for the night. Let's see if I move you guys around to the uh, front and you can see how much room I got. Try that right there, then you can see how much room I've actually got in there. took the uh, drawstring, rolled the hood up, and then sucked the drawstring on the hood down. So now, and it's off to the side so no water can leak in. Okay. All right, there we go. Oh, my plastic loop came loose. <sighs> nice. That is nice. I have got a lot of room in here. Yes. A lot of room. Oh. Wow. So, there it is. Multi-purpose emergency survival tarp from Bushcraft Outfitters. And that is set up into a basic A-frame, which is a great emergency situation setup. Again, because it's about eight foot long, I got room to pull my pack in one end, use it as a doorway, 
And if I really need to, block off the other end. Have a pad that was with my vehicle or in my pack. Or get a, uh, I've got a black trash bag, 55 gallon drum liner. Fill it up with pine needles. Worst case scenario, just lay out a thick layer of pine needles and or fur boughs and it's going to be snug but wiggle back in there and cozy up for the night and stay dry out of the wind and fairly warm so we'll come back um, in the future and do another video and we'll set this uh, up a couple different ways in the description I'll put the name but if you go on Google just type in bushcraft outfitters and it's called the m-e-s-t all capital letters multi-purpose emergency survival tarp poncho m-e-s-t poncho dan at ochoco bushcraft thanks guys